Oh, these are these those wires you were messing with? Yes. Should just push down. How does a flashlight get this hot? I didn't know. we go we are on our last day of the Black Hills motorcycle rally it is actually going to be considered Sturgis today today it does transition from the Black Hills rally to Sturgis we are heading north we're going to run around Sturgis dedicated not like yesterday when we were in the pickup and then we're going to run up to Deadwood run around Deadwood a little bit and then we're before we do all that though we're going to go up to Needles Highway run around there and then move on. Right now we got everything done. I ran down to the cafe, had a little donut roll, cinnamon roll. Go away, it's too early for you. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's too it's a early. beautiful morning. It's too early. It is Go away. gorgeous out here. Go away, go away, it's too early. I'm not sure if Kurt told you, but he became president of the Piss and Moan Club yesterday. Oh, so. I did become president of that. I think I have a patch from them and everything. Dork, pure dork. Custer, South Dakota, Baker's Cafe for a little breakfast before we head into Custer State Park. <laughs> We're on Sylvan Lake right now. Sylvan Lake's right in the middle of the Black Hills. <laughs> Those boulders back there. You guys can actually go hike around on them. You can swim, you can kayak, you can do anything you want to inside that lake. It is just beautiful here. Um, general store, the Sylvan Lake General Store. It has knickknacks and stuff like that in it. It has great ice cream. We didn't get any because we just got done with breakfast. This is what I'm going to consider today the beginning of Needles Highway. The beginning of Needles Highway probably technically starts back off of uh, Highway 385 coming up here out of Hill City but we decided to start it here. We do have a new rider with or a new 
to the Black Hills Rider with us, so I didn't want to take him through the switchbacks of the needles. So we're going to start right here and take him to the top of the needles. I then debate if he wants to go on, on past there. This stretch of needles is not that bad in the wise of switchbacks. It's a nice, easy road, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. dirt bag biker I wouldn't polish that hard hey honey hey where are we say it loud Harley Davidson in Rapid City I'm getting real sick of seeing this place real four real sick four days in a row four days in a row we are in Rapid City at Harley Davidson because of a broke down Harley Davidson we but should not buy ours this time. we should buy gold wings you know, this is the first trip that Banks and your bike both broke down on the same trip. Well, it is 106 degrees out, so you never know. That gentleman back there, if you're not familiar with him, the one pulling that track onto the stand is Am's Oil Adam. He has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. We're using Goliath. That is his giant motorhome. We're Pretty cool in the inside. She it, showed me. It is awesome in there. We're using Goliath's shade, trying to hide from a little bit of it. So we're going to walk around up here, check some things out, and sweat then to death. sweat to death, and we might have to do some repairs because we are not letting Harley Davidson work on another one of our motorcycles. So we're just probably going to do it at Adam's shop if Adam lets us, or I don't know, maybe it won't need work done. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Katie? Hey, what are you doing? Huh? I'm going to tell you about the commercial count so that you can sign up and take care of first class like she deserves to be taken care of. Oh, God, more paperwork crap. Uh, this one's new. Who's she? This is Cassie. Hi, Cassie. So Hi. she's a good friend of ours' daughter. They own the business over there called Head or Tails. And, uh, so nice to meet you, Cassie. So she, she, she's helping Katie with the sales and the things. Where's mom? She's probably inside Inside, pulling off because it's, it's over 100. It's too hot for her. It is warm. It is warm. But, ah, all right, I'll look at paperwork. Sure. All right, this is Am's Oil's uh, bike. Let's see here. What's the temp sitting at? Uh, he said there was a temp. Oh, it's right there. 198? Is 
that what it says? I can't say too much sun. 197 degrees. This bike stays running all the time, guys. They start it up and they just leave it running the whole time. I'm pretty sure it's an Amsoil thing and a Love Jugs thing, just to prove it that it's all good. This isn't a proper interview with Adam, so I'm not going to go interrogate him or anything. We did that a couple videos back. This is just us having fun. We gotta have fun every once in a while, right? That's right, we're at a truck stop. Wharton is getting overheated. It's 104 degrees out right now, so what she's gonna do is, we're gonna swing in here to Subway, chill out for a little bit, see if we can find some ice, or some ice cream or something, hang out before we head over to Deadwood. What's going on with Banker's bike is, uh, well, the water pump's trying to quit on it. And uh, luckily it's a Harley Davidson, so it technically still is air-cooled, but the liquid cooled is, uh, a huge part of the design in that 110 I think it is so we cleaned up the wiring harness and everything's working fine on it now no more light so everything should be okay we're gonna go in here and cool down though bike is good to go. Those are the fans that keep your motorcycle cool. For you that think that uh, these motors are built the same, because that one has uh, no radiators versus mine has radiators, they're not. They are not built the same. That engine is the exact same engine as mine, but it's air cooled. My engine is liquid cooled. It's not liquid cooled assist, I thought. I thought it was a liquid cooled assist. I guess I'm wrong because Banker's bike just overheated. So here we said, Deadwood, South Dakota. Right? It's still an air cooled engine with a liquid cool assist, is what I always thought it said, right? Apparently, it needs the radiators or it will overheat. That is crazy. I always thought that they could still go being air cooled. Gold wings are looking pretty good. Well, at this point, I really don't have a use in making new videos. I could just keep start replaying the videos from the past four days. This is probably my sixth time to Harley Davidson. It's just me by myself, so. We're gonna pick up some parts, and we're gonna fix it out there in Deadwood. I'm beginning to think a Honda Goldwing is not looking like the worst thing out there. And just like that, $500 later, we are walking out of Harley and en route for Deadwood, South Dakota again. Thank you, Sue. I needed that. We just met a subscriber in the parking lot to Harley Davidson in Rapid City, South Dakota. I'm flustered. I got sweats hanging down my face. I'm frazzled. I'm angry. Then Sue comes over and goes, You're Kurt, right? From Trucking with Schmidt? I want you. And I think Sue, 
You sound like probably one of the nicest ladies I've ever met. I know you brought me down, and I feel good now. I'm gonna have me a drink, and then we're gonna get back on the road, and we're still gonna try to get to them on time, but it's Sturgis time. It's time to have patience. As we're saying, <laughs> we're just getting some lights on you. Parking lot repair, right? We thought we were gonna have to do this down in Deadwood. But luckily the bike stayed cool enough to make it here, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. I always thought that the Harley was, uh, the radiators were a uh, heat assist, you know, a cooling assist, yeah. which means you could still run them without it. And and today proved different, you, you can't. See, that's what I was asking up there. This one? Ooh, that one just right there. Ooh, hold tight. Ah. Yeah, that, yeah, I think you need to squeeze it some more. If we spill some, we spill some. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, I guess. No. There's only, worst case scenario, there is only one cord in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that could take a little bit. <laughs> Well, I think it's actually draining this side, which is good. Oh, there it goes. Now she's flowing. I bet if we took the cap off, it'd flow like crazy. Oh, are these those wires you were messing with? Yes. Should just push down. Yeah, How does a flashlight get this hot? Your flashlight's like on fire, dude. There's that one. Okay. <laughs> Let the record know if this breaks, I'm not responsible. No. What do you think, Daryl? I hate to We gonna get it tonight? Yeah, we'll get it. At least we're not doing. Shit. At least we're not doing this in Deadwood's parking lot. <laughs> true. That's very true. That would have been more. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing to me, woman? Daryl says. Get... Daryl says there's something wrong with you since you were shocking me last night. That's the power of a warden. We got to get. See this piece right here. Yeah. We got to get that out of there. That's a safety clip. Okay. Do I push it in or pull it out? Time does it. I think it's supposed to be their banker. That's called the the anti freeze reservoir radiator. Morning. Yeah. Morning, ladies. Good morning. You want some bacon? Yes. How about biscuits and gravy? Oh, that's plain. No, no biscuits and gravy. That's okay. Bacon. Those look good. <laughs> yeah. Biscuits and gravy? Um, sure. I'll go all the way with everything, man. Hill City, South Dakota, rally breakfast at the Legion Hall here. I tell you what, 12 bucks gets you a full meal. Not even a partial meal, not even a little meal, a full meal. All right, we got uh, Banker's Bike all fixed up. We are all loaded up. We are heading home today. So 
hopefully everything goes good because it's all going to be interstate now. It wasn't too hard to fix it, you know. We just ran into a little hiccup last night. We had to drill a bolt out and we didn't have a drill. So we had to wait for a drill. Um, other than that, it all went smooth. And I think, uh, I think we should give ourselves a little pat on the back for doing something. I should have did that regulator on mine, but I was trying to save myself 400 bucks from warranty. And it all worked out okay. Harley did a decent job and it is fixed up. Mics are rolling in. It's time to get out. Well, we also got our annual picture. We got our annual picture at uh, the Lantern Inn Hotel. 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 Motel, the Lantern Motel here in Hale City. It's a weird picture. It is. It's a good picture. Um, the new owners, I think they're going to work. I, I do. I think they're going to work pretty good. Um, they have four kids. So it's definitely still a family run business. So I'm pretty excited to see that. And then on top of that, they made a lot of uh, restorations, they made a lot of upgrades. Um, I'm pretty old school so I had to get used to the upgrades and then I have to get used to change I got, I've gotten so used to Drew and Wit and Gabe being there and they're not anymore but they left to go be with their family back east with you know the begin a new chapter in their life and I have to be like okay you know it's changed but it'll be okay it'll be okay the new owners I'm still giving it a thumbs up I really am Lantern in Hill City Give them a try if you have it. The rooms are all updated, the plumbing's all updated, and it's worth it, I think. Find my chat so I where no one can see me. Why? Oh, I got it. You got the zipper? Yeah. You don't need my help? I might on this lake. Let's okay, we'll see if you need my help on this lake. Come on, honey, suck the leg in. Oh, that one was easy. That one was easy, okay. Mitchell, South Dakota. Stop, we're feeling up, throwing the rain gear on because we're going to get wet. We're about 200 miles from home right now. It's always nice when you can run into a subscriber when you're on your way home from Sturgis. We are at, I think it's exit 26 off of Interstate 29 here in South Dakota. We're only about 70 miles from home at this point. The rain? All we ran into is some drizzle, that's about it. And it cooled down pretty good. But as for right now, it's quite beautiful out and I'm looking forward to this last little bit of driving. I know they always say this time of night is dangerous on a motorcycle, but it's my favorite time to ride. never guessed that bike was a million pieces this morning, would no. you? No. No? He did good. Bike did, did good. Did you have a good Sturgis? I did. Wow. An interesting one, It was yes. an interesting one. We've had an accident. We had two broke bikes. It yes. was definitely a first. Something we've never experienced before. And 104 degrees, like four of the days. Yeah. All right. Well, For sure. I hope you guys enjoyed our Sturgis run, and uh, now it's time to go home. We enjoyed so, meeting all of the subscribers that hit us up along the way. That was fun. Yeah, we did. We met a lot of subscribers. We did. Daryl. Daryl was helping. Well, this would be in, that would be in this video. Daryl, he helped us fix the bike. He did. So, thank you, Daryl. appreciate that. Yep. And Daryl was concerned that I wasn't feeding Kurt enough. So. And you never did feed me enough. <laughs> no. Because we broke... Our bikes broke down and that became priority. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Next time you see me, we'll be in the truck. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. I have 
No, I have two, three. How are yes. you, Opie? Huh? <laughs> Dad, I'm just glad you're home. They kept feeding me, and I'm oh. fat now. Can you hear I a did story? Not. You are hefty. You no, are you very did. hefty, Opie. Dad. So yesterday he was following me around like no other, and so I was I was after Dad, volleyball. Was I was after volleyball, and I went upstairs, and he followed me. And apparently I was taking my shower, and apparently I didn't shut the door good enough, and he got in there. Exactly. And I See? opened the shower curtain, and he's just like laying on the floor, and he looks up at me. I'm like, what the heck are you doing in here? You don't get privacy when you got Opie. Every single time I showered, Opie's in there 24-7, whining, whining, whining. <laughs> hey, you get no privacy with Opie. That's one thing you don't get. Got eye boogie.